Hi, this is Mike from Gear Diary. Wanted to take a quick look at FL Studio for Android. Now, FL Studio was recently introduced. They had to develop their own audio engine because there isn't a low lag audio system built into the Android OS. Thank you, Mike. And now let's just take a quick look at how to work thing. So first of all, you've got your simple drum. You've got your drum pads. And you can then quickly track it in here. First of all, let's quickly set up a nice tempo. And then just set up your steps like so. Let's turn off the... And of course, you can add more layers from the kick, uh, from the... What's it? From the kit and just add that find your And then say, you want to add in your leads. And then you can also slide up. And also, you can just click on your piano system and set up something. And of course, you can change your. Let's choose a bass. Oh, something. And of course, you can copy. And of course, you can also do things such as write a piano track. And quickly edit. And then, of course, you can add effects such as reverb. Or you can add your filters. So, what are your thoughts on? On the it's app. pretty good. Any it's, uh, concerns? I feel like the MIDI editor. I've been. I use uh, commonly things like Nano Studio and stuff, and I feel like the MIDI editing system isn't up to par with that. With the Nano Studio thing, you can do things very quickly, and this really isn't as quick and as efficient as the system. And otherwise, I believe it's pretty good. How about responsiveness and lag? There's a bit of, a, the touch screen is kind of a little bit, um, 
touchy. So if you want to like say, if I just want to play something like really quick, I can go. It takes a second for the note to recognize. Oh, you can actually see the lag as you're doing that. Yep. And then if it's also kind of a problem if you want to just go. Oh, so you end up losing time that way. Yep. It's okay. just kind of a problem. Any final thoughts? I think it's pretty good overall. There are some changes that they could do. For instance, um, also you could add, they could add, um, say, a real synthesizer that you can edit instead of just presets, audio presets from their actual, from their synthesizers from the desktop software. And That's a fairly common complaint. Do you think this is worth $20? No, not really. Maybe f two, to, 2 to $5 dollars would probably be a good price, but not $20. Okay. And so this is Mike and Chris with Gear Diary looking at FL Studio for Android. Thanks Thank for watching. You. Thank you very much.